Hey folks, Sylvius here. Alright, so we're on Creeper World. Last time we finished up with Mistet, this time we're off to Croslaw. Uh, Mistet gave me the um, <coughs> shield key for this one. We got an interesting one here. This world is barely being held together. It's near uh, the end for this world. Geological forces have torn it apart and disturbances in the system have, gone, have done the rest. Yet there are artifacts here. Um, down there they are. It's kind of an annoying looking map, actually. This world has been uninhabited for over a billion years, so these artifacts must have been dropped here more recently. There's also another matter of concern here, Scars. I show an air exclusion AE structure on the hill to the south. Presumably that. <clears throat> Tycon or Celloy technology? Neither. This technology is actually ancient. It comes from the third CE, the civilization that came after yours. It was supposed to be a technology to block spores, but let me guess, it didn't block spores for long and the creeper altered it for its own purposes. Yes, now it simply blocks your air units. You can't use strafers or bombers over the area covered by the AE shield field. Great, it will take pure ground operations to take that hill then. Are berthas and mortars affected? No, they slip it under the field, just barely. So you're only prevented from using air units under the area covered by the AE field. Let's grab the artifact and get out of here before the whole world disintegrates. Okay. So we've got one spore tower that's going to lob three spores at me. Three emitters down here, plus the tower. And then up here we've got two emitters. And that's it. Oh, no, we actually have a tower over here. I didn't even realize that. So we're going to start there. And uh, we're going to hope that like an early offensive can somehow... Uh, take out this tower and hopefully kind of get rid of the other one too. At least that's the game plan. My uh, my plan is to lead with the um, sprayers, anti-creeper, all that jazz. This is the plan. Or minor there. And there we go. A little uh, overwhelming my energy again. Yeah, life's like a little bit easier without that thing. <laughs> I mean, sorry, life's not actually at all easier without the uh, the thing telling me how much I have. It does just make the, uh, the video look better though, which um, is important in its own right. So a mortar will basically wreck that, and then I can clear the way with a sprayer. My only concern is um, the other emitter, but it looks like it's kind of fine. And this actually looks like I don't really have a lot of uh, real things to concern myself with. Although it's super annoying that I lost that mortar while it was mostly completed. That's, yeah, that's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> it's also kind of obnoxious that I can't really see the, uh, the collector coverage on this, like, white terrain. It's like a weird issue. I keep uh, meaning to look into uh, whether or not there's a way for me to like change the coloring of that. The problem is it's not the actual um, like energy coverage of the um, the collectors. It's the like hypothetical. This is what it will cover, which is kind of stupid. Got that one there, 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 and there. Alright, and put another one there. Because I guess I don't have a lot of there. Alright. Yeah, I mean, this, this map actually looks kind of easy. Um, considering that I don't use air units pretty much at all, the, uh, the air exclusion zone, as it was called, um, really means nothing to me. I mean, if I really need to, I can bomb other locations, but I really don't think I'm going to need to. Oh, look, there's enough of a little gap over there for it to uh, crawl across. Look at that. I didn't realize that. That's kind of cool that it can do that. Sort of. 
Can I just, uh, there you go. And there we are. One there. 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 And we should be able to probably get a nullifier in. Yeah, definitely can get a nullifier in. And we're gonna throw the relays down. I don't really know if I need them on the other side for anything. Also, I wanna get a forge up and running. Because I have uh, an abundance of those things. On that note, we'll uh, get the one down here. And there you go. Nothing there. There. I feel like, yeah, I'm kind of pretty much, I think I'm, I'm good on energy reserves. I don't, uh, how much do I have? Yeah, 11. Well, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I guess it never hurts to have more. Unless I sprain, ah, I forgot all about these spores. Crap. Crap, actually. That's some major crap right there. Throw one there. That should be enough. And there goes my energy. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Can I get you, what, right there? There we go. And there we go, there we go, and there we go, and there we go. And there we goes. All right. So all things considered, we're looking pretty solid right now. If I throw him down a little bit more. I want him to just clear up enough so that I can get the uh, the mortar into that position. It looks like he's gonna do it, which is great. Yeah, all right, so I think we're... Basically don't have a lot to concern. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a tower up here. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, not good. <laughs> that was actually a, a pretty intense uh, oversight I just made. Now then, with him kind of, yep, and then fired exactly in the situation that I, in the direction I didn't want it to fire. Really need that one to be armed. <laughs> that one desperately needs to be armed. Okay, and he doesn't have, I thought he might be able to get shots over there, but he apparently can't. And we'll put a um, thing right there. Let's take a look at what my energy situation is. Okay, yeah, we're pretty good. I've got 19 energy. I don't think there's much I need to be concerned about now. And with him up there, we pretty much have a clean sweep to that side. I do want to be a little cautious of what's going on down here, but I don't think it's really a concern. And uh, yeah, we're going to increase firing range. He still can't. Uh, he can just barely get across. Look at that. That's actually kind of awesome that he can do that. And uh, we really don't need it, but let's build a Bertha, because A, they're cool to have, and B, this will actually be, I think, the first Bertha I've built. So fancy that, if you will. I mean, I used the three of them in that other map, of course, but this will be the first one I've actually, like, built myself. And there we go. I don't think that was really relevant, but whatever. Eh. Good enough, I suppose. And... There. Alright, move him up to there. 
lobbing out those spores at me. Yeah, he's actually doing a great job over there. And with another range increase, he'll be doing an even better job. Look at that. Alright, we move him up to that position. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. Nullifier. Continue speeding things up. Actually, let's give a uh, build speed increase in packets. Another packets. <laughs> this does bring up a question of how exactly do I want to uh, aim my attack? Because we're basically clear on my side. I can go down here, or I can go from up here. And I'm thinking up here might be easier because it gives me a little bit more, uh, like, opportunity to go in. In fact, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And we're also gonna move this guy over here. So I'm gonna need more cannons. That's probably enough. Another sprayer wouldn't necessarily hurt, so let's build another sprayer. And we're probably gonna eventually need another mortar. So, another mortar. And just move them on down there. <sighs> All right, my uh, my breath is now live. That's cool too. Everything's looking good. Nullifier. Nullifier is uh, almost made. Be nice when it's uh, fully made, but. And he's doing wonders over on this by keeping that thinned. Now oh, that uh, nullifier would just hurry up and get built. That'd be awesome. Also, I don't really know if uh, they're gonna try to lob a spore up there, but let's get ready for it. And then, yeah, I can't imagine there's much that's a better option than that mortar right there. We are probably going to want another mortar, though, so we are actually going to build another one. Bring you back, because I don't need you up there anymore. Might as well. There's probably something that would have been a better option there, but I don't know what it is, so we're just going to roll with it. He's got some range. Let me give uh, another range increase. And then, can I get a, uh, can I get like a relay? Awesome. Getting a relay. We'll open up with these um, extra pulse cannons that aren't really serving me any real purpose. I wonder if I had built a relay on that, would I have been able to reach down here? An interesting question. And on that note, or efficiency. There we go. And I don't know, just throw you down there. Let's try it. That, ah, he would be able to make it across. Of course, I'm not really sure how much of a use that would serve me. Because I doubt I'm going to be able to make a beachhead over there. Get me a nullifier up here, which was a... Uh, I should not have moved that one. Yeah, it's like as interesting as a of a thought process as putting that there actually was, uh, I'm pretty confident it serves zero purpose. Yeah, basically none. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to make anything out of that yet. So, fun thought process, but... <sighs> Shame, because I would have actually liked to have done something with that, but I can't figure it out. There's not really a good way to make it work in any kind of intelligent way. Regrettably as, or regrettable as that is. Uh, can I get you, what, right there? 
Alright, and probably pull him off of that. Once that emitter is gone, actually, we're gonna have him divert to there, and we'll have him go up to there. Just uh, send you up there. I do need another relay. That'll work. Um, let's go with attack speed this time. Or firing rate, as it's called. Look at all those beautiful mortars. Hmm. <laughs> him up there. Kind of can't tell what the uh, the elevation situation is at any given point, which is unfortunate. Yeah, like that sprayer was getting damaged and I didn't even realize it. That's not good. Okay. Change of plans, you'll go there. And you'll go there. And I'll build that to try to make a more direct route. This is probably a good move. There we go. Let's go with firing rate again. And then we'll move you to what? Right there? Pull you to there. Pull you to there. And pull you to there. And while we're at it. There we go. Let's give uh, build increases. Good, good. Actually, I forgot about that uh, spore tower. It's been kind of out of my mind lately. Uh, Alright, let's move you to there. And let's get a relay, like, right there. And we'll have him go... Where can he go? Because he can go there. Not really effective there, though. I almost lost that pulse cannon because it wasn't shooting for some reason. Alright. The Barth is really helping things here, too. That's gonna be a nice shot. Also, I haven't used this, but um, I'll try to see if I can't use the Singularity weapon so I can kind of showcase what it does. I kind of forgot that it exists, to be honest. <laughs> At this point, it kind of doesn't really serve any real purpose. Um. Okay, he's being destroyed. Uh, let's speed things up a little bit. Hopefully, yeah. Alright, so we should be able to... So you can fire the Singularity weapon. I think you need to have a minimum of 100 Aether. And then you can control how much of it is actually being used. So I'm going to use 100% of it, which will use all of my Aether. And then it does that. It lasts for that amount of time, and it draws the uh, the Creeper to you. Come to think of it, I bet I could have waited until I had a higher number, and then did way more useful things with that. I don't think I'm going to... I got the shield key, I guess that's cool. I believe you're familiar with an alien race known as the Stiglik? Yes, they were once a powerful and noble species that fell to the Creeper and were forced to serve the Loki. A few of them rebelled and those um, rebels assisted our survival against the second Nexus menace. I believe Thraid was the leader of these rebels? Yes. It would seem that the rebellion did not progress as originally intended. This message artifact references the Stiglik, Thraid, and the failed Stiglik rebellion to stop the Loki. When was this message recorded? It is difficult to date and very badly damaged, but it seems to have been recorded sometime after the Sibley were long gone. Somewhere around the 300th CE, perhaps. This message is a historical volume recording the stories of a single Stiglik that returned to the Milky Way galaxy. Most of the message is missing, but apparently one Stiglik fled the destruction of their kind and returned with a message. So the Stiglik failed and were exterminated by the Loki. Just like all things, they too eventually were destroyed. It seems more complex than that, Scars. It would appear that the Cyclic eventually just ended the rebellion on their own accord. Why? What makes you say that? The message the Cyclic survivor carried to humanity was, the Ark is everything. Everything that ever was or will be. Once you truly comprehend this, you will free your minds from the burden of resistance. Remember us as the ones who woke up. Another reference to the Ark. 
one that appears to have been lost over time. This message was recorded using one time pad as a key, and that key was included in, with the message, but the key was written onto the message millions of years after the message was originally recorded. So someone or something kept the decryption key a secret, and only included it eons later. And of course, the whole thing was an artifact uh, the Creeper bypassed. Leia, we are on the verge of a great realization. I can feel it in my... that's odd. Never mind that now, Scars. Let's get out of here and move on to Vapin and take out the warp inhibitor. Yeah, it's funny that I managed to get that while still having a live emitter. There we go. Actually, let's destroy that one. So, we basically have won. <laughs> so now we just uh, wait for my nullifiers to come online. There we go. That was still not a great score, but that was a little bit better than some of my other recent ones. Yeah, look at me. I'm number six in the last week. Alright, folks, that was that. Um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I'll see you next time for Vapin'.